Hi everyone, I'm Mark Fatua, Gina's dad. Thank you all for being here to celebrate this special day. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl with red hair, green eyes, and freckles all over her face. Do you know what her name was? Yeah. Lulu! Lulu. <laughs> On the nights I put little Gina to sleep, we'd read a book together, and then she'd demand a Lulu story as the evening's closer. These were fantastical, stream of consciousness adventure stories about a strong, smart, precocious girl who could do anything. For instance, one summer day, Lulu started to dig a hole in the backyard. What are you doing the lawn? Her dad asked. I'm digging a hole to China. I'll learn Chinese and bring back a baby elephant. I could ride back and forth to college. <laughs> okay, said dad, but don't be late for dinner. And we've got reservations at triple, triple Crown. <laughs> and be sure to fix that hole in the, when you get back. That's how a typical Lulu story began. She'd emerge from the hole instantly make new friends, learn Chinese, win an Olympic gold medal in ping pong, be kicked out of the country for talking too much, <laughs> and come home with an elephant that pooped all over the backyard. <laughs> well, newsflash, Gina. In my mind, you were Lulu. And her stories were the dreams I had of you for a life of adventure, success, friendships, and family. My darling daughter, you were my travel companion, my dinner date, my little student, my athlete, and my favorite person in the world. We had a lot of adventures, didn't we? As a woman you become, you've made my dreams come true, and I love you with all my heart. And now today we're surrounded by, look at you, and now today we're surrounded by family and friends, my daughter's genius begins a new adventure, and I couldn't be happier with who she's chosen to share it with. Chuck, after we played Euchre the other night, Lauren said to me, he adores Gina, and, and she really loves him. I think that's clear to everyone. You guys compliment each other. I've watched you support each other, and everyone can see you make a great couple. Marriage is beautiful and complex. It's something I don't know anything about. And I'm not qualified to give advice on. <laughs> As many of you know. <laughs> don't worry, Gina will figure it all out for both of you. <laughs> what I do know is that I like you too, Chuck. I can tell your parents did a great job bringing up a stand-up guy. I'm confident you'll take good care of my little girl. And Gina, take care of my new son, Mom. I'd especially like to welcome Chuck, Marjorie, and the entire Baker family. Where are you guys at? Yay, there you are. <laughs> Into the Vitulo and Cullen families. I look forward to getting to know you guys in the years to come, and uh, maybe I'll see you at one of my doctor's release soon. Yeah, come, come see. And uh, <laughs> Chuck, if you want to call, hit me up. Oh, uh, yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> Chuck and Margie, and those who never met them, I wish you all had a chance to have known Gina's grandparents, because Gina is a blend of all four. Marilyn, Marilyn and Betty, her two loving, strong-willed grandmas, doted on Gina and kept their husbands in line. <laughs> Gina's feisty confidence is all Al Burns. A guy who always lets you know where he stood, as I know. <laughs> and yes, there's a lot of Don Vitulo in you. <laughs> just, just a little loud, a little opinionated, but with a heart of gold. I'm sure it was your grandparents' dream to have been here today. They would have been so proud of the amazing woman their first granddaughter became. Jenny, 
I couldn't have asked for a better baby mama. <laughs> Thank goodness she's 70% you, 30% me. <laughs> Although she's 100% Italian. Because, because when you plant a pepper seed, you get a pepper. <laughs> Jenny, I love you for the amazing new dog you did with our daughter. Thank you. So this is part one, ready for part two? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would like to thank Gina's other dad for loving my daughter and treating her as his own. Randy, can you come up? Come on up, Randy. Say a few words and then stand with me to toast our daughter. It's hard for me. But I love her so much. I didn't have a daughter, but no, no daughter could be better than Gina. I love her with all my heart. I would do anything for her. I yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. Randy, Randy, come on up. Come up. All right, everybody stand up. Please stand, and we're going to join us in a toast to Gina and Chuck. Even he's supposed to. That's Italian for long live the bride and groom. All right. At this time, Maid of Honor Rachel Miller 